On August the 1st, 1981, the music industry was changed forever. Before this date, you listened to music on the radio, and if you wanted to see your favorite singer or band, you went to a concert or watched them as a special guest on shows such as American Bandstand, Soul Train, Hee Haw, or many other shows like this are on late night talk shows. Some groups made their own movies, which were a, a musical treat, but not such a good movie experience. <clears throat> I will not mention any names. And in 1981, the video era of music on MTV was officially launched with the words, Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. Spoken by John Lack and played over footage of the first space shuttle launch countdown of the Columbia, which took place earlier in 1981, and the launch of the Apollo 11. Those words were immediately followed by the original MTV theme song, a crushing rock tune composed by Jonathan Eli and John Peterson, playing over the American flag changed to the MTV logo, which had different textures and designs. MTV's producers, Alan Goodman and Fred Siebert, used this public domain footage as a concept. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, or we've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. Now, Siebert said they had originally planned to use Neil Armstrong's one small step quote, but lawyers said that Armstrong owned his name and likeness and that he refused to let them use the quote so it was replaced with beeping sounds. The first music video shown on MTV was by The Bugles. It was called Video Killed the Radio Star, which originally was available only to homes in New Jersey. This was followed by the video of Pat Benatar's You Better Run. The screen went black and frequently when an employee of MTV inserted a tape into a VCR. MTV's lower third graphics then appeared near the beginning and the end of the music videos, just to kind of let you know there was going to be a break in there. Then on July the 29th, 1983, those that did not have cable were able to watch videos with the start of NBC's Friday Night Videos. Friday Night Videos proved to be the next best thing for many viewers. While it primarily showcased music videos by popular top 40 acts of the day, unlike its cable rival, Friday Night Videos tended to offer more variety, including artists from the genre of pop, rock, R&B, and rap. Now, in the beginning, like its predecessor, The Midnight Special, the show ran for 90 minutes long and consisted of music videos introduced by off-camera announcers. In addition to this, the classic artists of the 1960s and 70s appeared occasionally in the Hall of Fame videos. Major stars were profiled in private reels and new clips made their network debut as world premiere videos. Now before the videos came along, we enjoyed the voices of our singers. But as the first song states, some singers fell at a disadvantage because they were not interested or did not want to put themselves on public display in video format. Some big stars of the pre-video era did not fare well for different reasons. After MTV, there came along CMT, BET, Dove, and a score of others. Music will always be around on, on the radio and now on TV. You can even find it on your cell phone through YouTube and, and different other formats. MTV changed how we look at music and how we get our music. We're still singing in our cars and while we make supper, and those of us that sing in the shower, it still happens there too. Are we even hum to ourselves as we work? Music is a part of life, no matter the format.